Hello Trinity fans and welcome back to the channel. Now for those of you who are new to the channel, be sure to click the link in the description. You will see my website full of guides for you guys. I upload guides every single week so be sure to subscribe to the channel. Now in today's video, we are going to talk about the fast summon method, the system of ancient relic chart. First thing to do is open your inventory. But before you can combine any scrolls, it is important to take note of where my mouse is right now. There is this auto arrange icon over here, which is like a form of a checkbox. You do not want to tick this, okay? If this box is ticked, you can't combine any scrolls. So the first thing for all new players is to uncheck this box. Then what you want to do is that the relics should be formed in this method. It's like a plus sign. So when you form it in this method, together with this box unchecked, you will see this little combine button. Okay, so you want to left click, all right, index finger, left click, and it will combine into this scroll. And I want you guys to take a close look at the description, okay? It says it expires in 6 days and 23 hours. So you guys have to take note, do not combine this scroll too early. You want to combine this scroll maybe half an hour before you and your party set out for the so-called um, farming of the boss. So do take note that is an expiry. Date. The next thing to know is you want to right click the scroll. So it will say here that this is a co op Asian relic shard quest. Okay, when you click yes, what it does is that your map will point you to the location where you can summon the boss. So it's over here. All right, that's where the map is pointing. Once you reach the location, the party leader needs to look for this floating structure and start interacting with it, okay? So once you interact, you'll see five slots over here. That means you need a party of five to use this system. Now, for the amount of relics, determine how difficult the bosses will get. So let us look at this chart over here. If all five members put in only one piece of the chart, on this interface, the boss will be easy. 150 AP attack power is all you need to kill off the bosses. If all of you put two scrolls each, the boss AP will increase to 190, three scrolls each, 220, four scrolls each, 240, and five scrolls each, 260 AP, which could be difficult if you do not cross 250 AP and above. So this is the way that you can summon fast. All of you guys put in the scrolls depending on your AP margin in your party. And if all of you are high AP members, well, all of you can just put five piece in, summon the 260, one kill for three bosses in a round, and you are done, all right? And you get the rewards worth the number of pieces of relic as well. And all you need to do is click activate and just wait for the boss to be summoned, all right? Just wait a little bit here and then you will see the boss summoning like this effect on the left side of the screen. So that huge ball on the left side will start to float and then the boss will appear. There is a total of three bosses. After you defeat the three bosses, the loot will go into your inventory directly, all right? So everyone plays a part and this thing will go well very very fast for the time being I'm just gonna show you guys real time how fast it takes to kill one boss our party definitely has around 260 AP uh, some members may be slightly higher some members may be slightly lower but you can see the boss is actually not very difficult we are DPSing him down pretty fast he's at lower than 50% HP right now and I'm not especially well geared as well in fact I'm the lowest gear in my entire guild probably so you can see that this boss is basically dying all right and once he dies the next boss automatically appears like i mentioned there are three bosses so this is a real time uh gameplay for you guys to see like you can tell uh you will get different loots as well so yep so this is the second boss that is spawned, all right? So in this second boss, as it spawns, you will be able to still just DPS. There's really not much mech. If you can stay a little bit of distance, just keep a distance. Like he sometimes comes after me, and even as a rage character, I can go into melee as well. Not much of an issue here. 
they do hit you sometimes but not really really hard okay so don't worry about it and just go all out dpsing okay sometimes the boss do run all over the places um be sure to come back to the center where the system is so that he doesn't go out too far and ends up resetting and yep the boss basically is down pretty fast okay and there you go Okay, so we're gonna wait for the third boss to be spawned. The third boss comes in the form like a lizard kind of a dragon. You guys may have encountered him before in other maps. So this is the last one. Once you see this really like lizard dragon kind of a character, alright, as a monster, this is the last boss. So you want to kill him very quickly. This boss tends to jump around and run pretty far after a while. So you probably will be able to witness it in this um, combat sequence right now. So yeah my tip to you guys is this the tank holds the boss position and the rest of you should be hitting from behind the boss okay as you can see i'm always aiming for back attack okay i don't like to go for front attacks so uh yep just try to aim for back attacks because it gives more damage to the boss and you will be able to uh deal and kill the boss faster you can relatively just ignore the mobs okay they don't really hit hard you can just bypass them and don't care about them if they irritate you okay go ahead and just kill them all right like i mentioned the boss does run here and there so this is uh the relic boss and one round of summon has completed therefore the party leader has to come back to the machine again and from there he has to summon the bosses now why am i doing this why am i running away because i'm trying to push my horse further away so that the boss doesn't kill it okay so one thing to note is to push your horse far away and then after that just continue to interact and then click in the number of pieces that you want to summon yeah and that's pretty much it so in total each of us use 50 summon pieces and the time span because of that fast summon system is approximately 35 minutes in 35 minutes the key two items that we are aiming for apart from the trash loot the hp potion is the memory fragment and the hunter seal now this two item is worth a lot because hunter seal can exchange for quite a lot of blackstone weapons and armor which is valued at about 21 million for 30 minutes and the best part is memory fragment given about 250 to 270 average out for all members individually okay each of us is getting about 260 to 270 memory fragments that is about 800 over million silver so in 35 minutes you get almost close to 1 billion i might say if you summon maybe 60 pieces or even 70 pieces per person you guys probably would take maybe 40 45 minutes and you have earned 1 billion silver outright from there on okay so yeah that's pretty much it for the earning I think this is quite beginner friendly in a sense and you can get ancient relic shard from fishing especially uh, and other life skill content as well however let's say if you are in a guild and there is not much members to play with you and you are going solo well don't worry about it I have this guy on the screen which I'm gonna put it on the video postcard at the end of this video which you can click in and also the links gonna be in the description as well you can check out the solo method with additional tips on how to do it fast so that you can also effectively be able to earn money despite being a solo player as well okay so be sure to check out that guide and if you have found this video to be helpful please subscribe if you have a question drop me a comment I'll try to answer ASAP but do take note sometimes YouTube does auto delete your comments because of some community regulations even though you didn't do anything wrong so that's got to do with something upon youtube's end so if you don't get a response from me for 24 hours or 48 hours feel free to go to my website go to my discord server and ask the questions there all right so if i don't respond to you within a day or two that's probably because youtube deleted your comment so just come to my discord i'll help you guys out over there so be sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up like comment and support the trinity family by joining us in our discord server as well i'll see you guys in the next video once again thank you for watching i'll see you guys soon in game as well bye bye